Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Shannon Doherty said she was wrecked at the thought of starting chemotherapy again, just three weeks before she passed away on Saturday at the age of 53. The Beverly Hills 90210 icon, who was was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015, got candid about gearing up for the drug treatment during the June 24th episode of her Let's Be Clear podcast. I'm having to go back on chemo and it's really hard, the actress said at the time. The idea of going through that all over again has wrecked me. She continued, it's wrecked me in the sense of, yes, I knew I had stage 4 and yes, I knew it was really serious, but when you have to go to the hospital and you have to get put under and a port put in you, it becomes very real in an incredibly different way. The Charmed star also noted that she might have to change her plan based on the chemotherapy results after three months. That's not something that I can predict. It's not something my doctors can predict. And it's scary, she continued. It's like a big wake-up call. In the same podcast episode, she confessed the past year was really hard for her. On Sunday, Doherty's publicist Leslie Sloan confirmed the actor's death. It is with a heavy heart that I confirm the passing of actress Shannon Doherty. On Saturday, July 13th, she lost her battle with cancer after many years of fighting the disease, Sloan told People. The devoted daughter, sister, aunt and friend was surrounded by her loved ones as well as her dog, Bowie. The family asks for their privacy at this time so they can grieve in peace, Sloan added. Doherty, who played Brenda Walsh in the hit 1990s show, was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015. Just two years later, the charm star revealed that the cancer had returned after going into remission. At the time, she told Good Morning America, it's going to come out in a matter of days or a week that I'm stage four. So my cancer came back, and that's why I'm here. I don't think I've processed it. It's a bitter pill to swallow in a lot of ways, she said. Last year she announced that her cancer had spread to her brain in an Instagram post that showed her undergoing radiation therapy. She teased a new episode of her podcast Let's Be Clear by sharing a snippet on her official Instagram account. In October 1990, Doherty starred in the original Beverly Hills 90210, but left the series after the fourth season in 1994. She came back to the show as a guest star in 2008 after it rebooted. Following the popular series, she went on to star in the witch drama, Charmed. Doherty played Prue Hallowell, the oldest of the three witch sisters. After directing several episodes of Charmed, Doherty left the series in 2001. She then moved on to reality television, as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars and in the show Breaking Up with Shannon Doherty. She joined the 2019 reboot of 90,210 and played the adult version of Brenda Walsh. Doherty initially kept her diagnosis under wraps, but after her co-star Luke Perry suddenly died at 52 in 2019, she opened up about her health battle. One of the reasons, along with Luke, that I did and didn't really tell anybody was, because I thought, people can look at that, as, people with stage 4 can work too, she explained. Perry died on March 4 that year after he suffered a massive ischemic stroke at his home in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles. It's so weird for me to be diagnosed and then somebody who was, you know, seemingly healthy to go first, Doherty said on Good Morning America in 2020. It was really, like, shocking. On June 24, Doherty gave fans insight into where she's at in her divorce and cancer journey on the latest episode of her podcast. She confessed that her past year has been really hard as she discussed her split from photographer Kurt Iswarienko, 49. Obviously, divorce is not easy, especially when you really love someone. And I did love my husband, Doherty said. And when you get so hurt by their actions that you just feel betrayed and like a sucker, it's really hard. Doherty also revealed she would be starting another round of chemotherapy probably a couple of days after this episode is out. To just be walking into the unknown, I just feel like my life has been unknown for over a year now, between divorce and cancer, she added. The couple were together for 11 years before they divorced. The Hall